Okay, so one of the quickest lessons you're going to see is one talking about parallel and perpendicular lines. Um, because what I really care about for parallel and perpendicular lines is uh, can you apply the knowledge you have uh, gained up to this point of algebra. So first off, parallel lines, algebraically speaking, have the same slope and different y-intercepts. Um, so if I ask you to write the equation of a line parallel to another line, um, you know, if I have like y equals 2x plus 3, and I want to write the equation of something that's parallel, I have to use the same slope and just pick some different y-intercept, and I have parallel lines. And that's pretty much it for parallel lines, uh, because, um, I mean, there's not much else to it. It's just par uh, same slope, different y-intercept. So the hard part is if I give you something in standard form, you have to be able to figure out the slope. And you have to be able to make sure you have different y-intercepts if I give you point slope. Okay, so perpendicular lines. Uh, they're a little bit different than parallel lines. There's a little bit more that you have to know. First off, remember for perpendicular lines that the y-intercept doesn't matter. Okay, they can be the same, they can be different. It doesn't matter at all. Because perpendicular lines are going to intersect, so if they have the same y-intercept, that just means they intersect at the y-axis. Um, what's important about perpendicular lines, though, is that their slopes are both opposite and reciprocals, not either or. This is a both. You have to have the opposite sign to make sure they go in opposite directions, and you need them to be reciprocals to square them off. The thing you need to remember about the slope of perpendicular lines is that their product is negative one. And the only way to get that is if they are both opposites and reciprocals. For example, y equals 2x plus 3. If I want to write the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals 2x plus 3, remember the y-intercepts don't matter. All I care about is that slope. It's got to be the opposite, which is negative in this case, and the reciprocal, which in this case is a half. And so then I just like tack on some y-intercept and I have an equation of a line that is perpendicular. All right, as I said, this lesson on parallel and perpendicular lines is super short. We've already come to the point where I want to check for understanding. Um, you have everything in your head that you need to answer these two questions. First, I want you to write an equation parallel to 5x plus 3y equals 2 that goes to the point 5, 1. Second, I want you to write an equation perpendicular to 5x plus 3y equals 2 that goes to the point 1, 5. The hard part's going to be you need to figure out how to do this using the information you have gathered so far in Algebra 1.